Right, ladies and gents, I better explain what we're up to today before I make a complete fool of myself trying to drive David's tractor here. So, we're out at Dykes Farm, uh, UK HQ in Barby, and we've come to have a look at some of its latest development. They've been quietly busy away, haven't you, really? Well, we've been steady away, and over the last couple of years, we've had introductions on the larger ones with the 8 Series and the new transmission in the 7 Series, coming through the larger 6 Series. But we're coming down now to our totally new baby, the new 6C. That's it. So that's what we're, this is what we're on today, is it? Absolutely. The 6C series. Specifically, you've got a new transmission with the 6Cs. We have. We've got the new RV shift. Right. So this is what we're going to try out now. And we're in manual mode at the moment, so you can drive it like you want to. Yeah. And all you need to change the gear is just rock that forward. Just knock it up a cog like that. And if you want to come down, you pull it back. You want to go forward through lots of gears, just hold it forward. Changes through, let go of your stop. Hey, we're doing well so far. Well, we're doing all right so far. Not broken, so yeah. when we took off then, well, for a start off, how many gears are in this this new, what do you call it, RV shift yeah. transmission? We're at 20 gears. So there's 24 gears, and how many reverse gears would you 16 have? 16 in reverse. Right, 16 in reverse. So, I mean, just to put it into context before we dive in a little bit deeper, I mean, what other transmission options have you got in the 6C? Well, we got we start off with our entry level of a PS, which is a three-step power shift. So you've got a chance of 30 gears there, forward and reverse, or 60 gears if you have the creeper transmission. Right. But that only has three hydraulic splits as a maximum. Right. And what we've got is customers who want to do more through that without changing in drive. Yeah. So with this, you can continue through every single one of these gears from one all the way to 20 without any loss of traction. So just a full, just straight through. Straight through. And then at the other end of the scale, what other, you've got a CVT we've in there got a as CVT, well. We've got the TTV model, yes. Right. So that's constantly variable transmission. So you can go at any speed with any engine speed, whatever. Right. So all these transmissions that you've got, these three options now, these are all these built by yourselves in... Uh... Yep, we built everything in this tractor is manufactured in our Trivilio plant in Italy. Right, there you go. And then, I mean, the, the tractors wise, this 6C range, I mean, just explain where that sits in the family, because obviously the, the 6 series is quite a big family of tractors, so where's the 6C in relation to that? So this, this, this IC is a linking tractor between what's built in Trevilio, which is traditionally known as the 5 Series yeah. in our normal open field tractors, uh, which go right up to 125 horsepower. And then we step up to the larger 6 Series, which is our Larium plant, which are traditionally 6-cylinder tractors, although some of the smaller ones are 4s. Right. So this is a tractor 6C, which sits, starts at the 115 horsepower, goes right up to the 143 horsepower, Right. So linking that sector yeah. as a four-cylinder model, so very compact, very manoeuvrable. Yeah. And we've got um, you know the powerful Deutz engine on this one. Um, it is possible to get a farm motion engine as well. Right, if you want so you have a go. choice of engines. Choice of engines. Right, so obviously the Deutz is from Deutz, but your farm motion, that's your own, is it? Yeah, we manufacture that ourselves, yes. And that's out of Italy as well, Yeah, it comes out of right. Italy. There you go. And then just going back to the power ratings of the 60s, what are they again? It's up to... So, um, there's a 115, which is um, at 118 horsepower, boost to 123. Um, and then there's a 6125 and the 6135, which is um, 136 horsepower, boost up to 143. Right. So this, would this be a key market for you? Because there's some serious competition this in this like 120, 130, yeah, it, 140 horsepower. It, it, it's, it's a very key market for us. Um, and what we've struggled with previously is what some would consider a lack of a transmission with more than three splits. Yeah. We have some of the competitors with six splits, four splits, eight splits, um, and they're able to develop and move through under load. And the operator just wants something that's simple to use, easy to configure. Yeah. And I think you'll agree with me by the time we finish here you'll have a nice simple to operate transmission. Oh, hopefully. Well, you spoke a little about configurability there. So, I mean, for example, I mean, we just set off in, I mean, what gear did we set off in then? We're in gear 10. Because right. at the moment we're in our, what we call our field, a road range. Right. A transport range. And at the moment, this has been preset to work between gears 10 and 20. Right. The purpose of the ranges, there's two ranges. There's work 
or there's transport. So that's and on yes, this, yes, this button. There we go. On there, just as you press it now, you've knocked us down to transport range, and we've actually got this one. Uh, sorry, work range, and we've actually got this one to work between six and eight, because right. you've got a particular job in the field where you want to, to work at a certain speed, but there's a little hard bit over there, so you want it to be able to go down a gear if it is, and the other corners are a bit easier like to go in, and you want yeah. to be able to change up, and you have that little bit of change, and because your use is at the moment manually, the um, you can change it, but with the APS, when you do the automatic, it will change between those it's range. just sticking that, that working range in, in, that set. in that window that yeah. you set. So if we press the APS button, yes. So now we're changed down because you were at tick over. Um, it's changed down to gear six, which our pre starter yeah. is. So if we give it a little bit of. You, you yeah, get, and it'll change up to eight, and that's where it'll limit it to change to. There we go. So it's just like, it doesn't matter how uh, hard I rev it now. Yeah. It's just... And if you was to slow down, it, it would feel well, I can do this in gear slower, and it's changing down yeah. as we're talking. And to alter that range, how do you do that? Is it through the dash? Or? It is through the dash. Um, it's very easy. You've got a nice orange shortcut key over there. Right, so, so we have a quick look. Yeah. So we press the orange. Yeah, puts you straight into the menu. Starting gear is set at six, minimum gear is six, maximum gear is eight. So let's say you want to make this between six and ten. Right. So, so go to the maximum gear, click enter, on that. change it to ten, click on it, press the escape button. There we go. And escape again. But we can have a different yeah, starting gear yeah, as well, can we? So we yeah, can so have that at four. Yeah, you, you can. You would normally have it within the window where yeah. you're working. But the starting gear is what it will automatically default to if, like now, we've come to stationary points. Right. So it's done, um, particularly if you're on, on the road and you caught to some traffic lights, you don't have to change down to the gear thing. It will automatically be there, ready to pull away. Right. So now you've got a system in between gear 6 and 10, and it changes all the way up to 10. And the, the the main reason for the two modes is you will you are likely to change this field mode to suit your job. Yeah. But when you finish the field, you're limited at the moment to ten. One press of that button, you're now in road, and you can now accelerate away. We've got ten to twenty. And, and now you're going to go. That's all you've got to do to change. You don't have to go in and do any more screen programming. So you can't